And now I'm going to import a CD, or just insert a CD and show you what it looks like. So when you import your CD, it'll pop up automatically in iTunes right over here in just a second. And it's also going to retrieve the track names and the artist names uh, from the internet. So you can see, it came under Devices, and you can see the little CD icon, and there's the CD. And since I have it set to that, you can see it, it asked me if I want to import the CD into my iTunes library. So if I wanted to import this whole CD, I would just hit Yes. I could also hit Do Not Ask Again. But I'm going to hit No. So now you see, I can see what's on the CD right here, because you see I'm selected on it. And I could just import the whole CD by clicking yes to that last pop-up, or I could go down here and hit import CD. But I'm going to show you something else you can do. I only want to import one song off the CD. So I'm going to select all and then do uncheck selection. And then you can see whichever ones I check, it's only going to import those. So I only want to import that first song, so I'll just leave that one checked, leave everything else unchecked, then hit import CD, and you can see the little the little uh, animation here, and then you can also see up here, it's giving you kind of a time remaining speed that you're going at, and a little bar to represent where you are. So depending on the speed of your, um, your CD, your DVD drive, and your computer, depends on how long it's going to take to import. And that one's done. There we go. And now you can see it's going to be in my library me to use. There it is. Now to eject a CD, I can just hit this little eject button right here. And I'm going to show you one more thing on CDs. This next CD I'm inserting is a mix CD I made a while back. And because um, it's not going to be able to retrieve the names on a CD that you made yourself, like a burned mix CD or something like that. It can only retrieve the names of real CDs or albums that have been released. So you can see it says, the song names for the CD cannot be found online. Do you still want to import the songs? I can hit yes to import them all now, or I can hit no to select which ones I want. But actually, I want to hit no because this is a, a mix I made. So what I want to do is I'll select all, and I'll do get info. And then it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to edit information from multiple items? Yes, I do. And then there's no artist because it's a mix CD, but I can call the album whatever I want. Drew Mix. And then I can set any of these other options if I like. Um, I can set like the genre, and there's even a drop down for it. I can set volume adjustment. You probably don't really want to mess with that too much, but um, you've got all these other options you can look through, but I mean, mainly what I like to do when I have a mix CD is just maybe title the album so I, I know what it is and it just doesn't show up blank in my library. And now under the album section, it's going to say Drew Mix instead. And then just like before, I could check off songs if I did want to uh, import in some of them. And when I'm done, I just hit Import CD and leave them all checked if you just want to import all of them. So that's how you uh, set up your CD settings and how you import a CD into your iTunes music library.